In sub-Saharan Africa today, over 71% of the rural population lacks access to electricity and rely heavily on firewood as a source of energy. Uganda, located in the eastern region of Africa, uses over 80% wood fuels to meet its energy demands. With support from Brussels Capital Region and Enabel, the Belgian Development Agency, communities across the country are now adopting alternative and sustainable sources of energy to meet their basic education needs while conserving the environment. The renewable energy intervention is implemented in seven vocational training institutions and four national teachers' colleges. So, as a neighbor, when we treat the, uh, the first, we treat the end user institution as an ecosystem, we tend and we make sure we work with the environment as opposed to against the environment. When I'm instructing or lecturing, it becomes easier to take my class to that uh, vicinity and tell them this is how it should be done. The solar lighting system which was put on the streets and the homes of residences, it has improved the security first of all of the, you know, at the college in the compound and two, it has created a conducive environment even for the students to do self-study. We are now exposed to different things. I come here to study national building, national certificate in building, but I go with other experiences to secure the environment, to even prevent the pollution. Every month, we are saving close to 2.8 million. In terms of the human resource, in terms of the time, and in terms of the, the, the cost of the fuel.